What's going on, everybody? You already know, man. It's your boy, Terry V, a trillionaire hustle, helping you build your financial muscle. Yo, we back again again with another video, man. Last video I posted, I've officially hit 100 videos on YouTube. Uh, I want to congratulate y'all for keeping me motivated so I can keep the videos coming, man. But anyway, I love y'all. I just want to keep the support going, man. I honestly, I know I got to be more consistent with uploading videos every single day. I honestly want to see if I could do like three to five years of every single day. I'm about to even start uploading on Sundays. It's like, just don't miss a day and just start uploading every single day. I'm going to have to do it, man. Because I like the feedback. I like, you know what I mean? It makes me feel good. What I'm doing, it makes me feel good. I don't know. Y'all can see it on my face. But anyway, like, subscribe, comment down below. Share this channel with your people, man. So for 100 videos, I think I would, it's a story time. This is going to be a story time video how I got my first piece of Bitcoin, right? So for those of y'all who don't know, man, I live in Texas. When I first moved to Dallas, Texas, in, I moved here in January uh, 2016. I didn't have nothing to my name. I'm not, that would probably be another story for a different day, man. But long story short, I did not end up getting a car till September of 2016 so nine months later is when i finally was able to get a car right um so when i got a car the first day i got the car like i got the car I put the money down i signed the paperwork i i rolled out the dealership as i'm driving off the dealership i stopped at the light and i turn on door and i turn on my uber app i already had the whole uber thing set up man <laughs> And I started doing Uber that night, that same night that I got the car. I walked out the dealership with the car, started doing Uber that night. So, but anyway, uh, yeah, that's, that's a whole different story for a different day, man. I was an Uber driver for since from September of 2016 till February of 2018. I was an Uber driver. Um, some crazy stories from that. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. So, from being an Uber driver, you meet a lot of great people, man. For those of y'all out there who are still Uber drivers, man, I love y'all, man. Stay to the grind, man. And you know, you meet a lot of great people driving for Uber. You meet a lot of bad people, too. But anyway, I almost sneezed. Um, so, yeah, this one time I get a, I pick up this kid, right? This Asian buff kid. Like, this kid is an Asian kid, and he works out a lot. I, pick, I think I picked him up from the gym. I was taking him to the gym. I don't remember. Matter of fact, no, 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 no. He was telling me he went from the gym early. I was taking him to the airport. Yes, I was taking him to the airport. I was taking him to the airport. That's what happened. So, um, but I could see that he was buff or whatever. So we started talking about working out and stuff like that. Um, he was flying to San Francisco. That's, that's how I remember. Yeah, he was flying to San Francisco. As we're talking or whatever, right? He's asking me, is this the only thing I do? I'm like, no, I work in, um, I drive for Uber. And at the time I was going to school, I, uh, I'm going to school for IT. And he's like, oh, cool, man, you work in IT. You're going to be working in IT. Are you going to be a coder or whatever? So we're just talking. And, but as we're talking, somehow Bitcoin came up in the conversation, right? Because what I guess, because we were talking about IT and technology and stuff like that. So Bitcoin comes up in the conversation. So when Bitcoin come up in the conversation, honestly, I'm like, yo, Bitcoin, what is that? So he's telling me about it's a form of cryptocurrency. I'm like, yo, I heard about crypto and all that good stuff, man. But that stuff is trash, man. It's not real. Da, 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 da. I'm talking crap about Bitcoin to him. I'm like, man, that stuff is not real. It's fake. Yo, this dude is like, no, bro, it is not fake. This is the future. Like, dude, he's in my backseat telling me at the time I drove a Nissan Cube, like the little red Cube. Or was it this car? So he's in the back seat. He's like, no, bro, this is Bitcoin is gonna be huge, bro. Bitcoin is going to be freaking huge. You have no idea. Like, dude, this kid is almost coming over the back seat, like in my face. Like, you don't know how good Bitcoin is gonna be. He's like, dude, I've been investing in Bitcoin since the first set for about I think at the time, 20. I think he's telling me he's been investing in Bitcoin for like five years. He's like, dude, I've made so much freaking money, you have no idea. Da 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 da. Yo, bro, he's going in. To the point where I'm like, all right, bro, Bitcoin's gonna be great. Like, I don't care, right? I'm like, I don't care, great, good for you. He's like, matter of fact, Bitcoin is gonna be so great that I can give you a piece of Bitcoin right now that 10 years from now is gonna be worth a hundred thousand. I'm like, what? I'm like, man, you lying. I'm like, you lying. I want to see. 
He like, dude, if you could download Coinbase right now by the time we're driving, he like, matter of fact, turn off the app. He, he made me turn off the Uber app. He like, turn off the app. I'll pay you in cash for this ride. I'm like, Shh, pay me in cash right now? Bump it. Like, you feel me? I turned off the app. So I turned off the Uber app. And um, so, yeah, so he like, yo, download Coinbase right now. So he made me download Coinbase um, from on the app store as we're driving. We get into the airport. He like, dude, if you can set up your account right now, I'll transfer you um, five dollars worth of Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. Man, this is in what 2016. Excuse me. He like, I'll transfer you five, and I promise you, dude, this five thousand is going to be worth a hundred thousand dollars in about ten to fifteen years. I'm like, whatever. Like, I don't care. I don't believe him, right? So, um, so yeah, I download, so I download in the app, I'm setting everything up. This is as I'm driving, like, he don't even care. He like, and the whole time he told like, dude, Bitcoin is going to be huge, dude. He like, yo, once you get the Bitcoin, I transfer you Bitcoin. He like, this is what you do. Once I transfer you the Bitcoin, I'm going to transfer you. Um, you wait and see and see if that grows. And if it grows, then you just keep investing in it. Trust me. He like, trust me, it's going to keep going. I don't believe him. I, I heard of Bitcoin at this time, but I don't know what it is, right? I've heard of it. I've heard the, the, the name Bitcoin before, right? So anyway, so we going. So I downloaded the app. We get into the front of the um, we get into the front of the airport. The, I downloaded. I set up everything. I had the Bitcoin wallet thing ready. So he like, what's your what's your, so he asked me to send him my Bitcoin wallet thing. So I sent it to him. He transferred me some bitcoin because at first my account was a zero then i see it come in like and it's like you have five dollars worth of bitcoin so so he like dude i'm tipping you five bucks in bitcoin like for your uber ride but dude i'm telling you 10 15 years from now that five bucks is gonna be worth 20 he's gonna he said it's gonna be he said it was gonna be worth a hundred thousand right if he watches this video man hey thank you bro you changed now i would have you that yeah you did change my life that day because you put me on a different form of investing like you feel me a different form of asset a different type of asset that because of you <laughs> i've been actually uh investing in it and i've gotten more than i've got i'm doing good on it i'm doing good on it. that's all i'm gonna say i'm doing good on it um but anyway so when he transferred me the bitcoin right that was in 20 i think it was one whole bitcoin had cost between five to seven thousand that's where the numbers they were it kept on fluctuating he like it was it was it was worth between five to seven thousand the highest i've seen him going on was like nine thousand then it had slid back down to like five or six seven it was hovering between five and seven five and seven five and seven so to see today bitcoin is worth fifty five thousand dollars it went from five thousand to fifty five to that for that day that he sent me the bitcoin he might be right, man, with that amount that he has sent me for it to one day. And that was, what, four years ago? Yeah, that was four, 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 five years ago, five years ago. So to see that amount, it was only $5. So obviously it's grown. Like, now I mean, it hasn't turned into thousands, but that, that's the amount. Cause, so after he gave me that, yes, I have been putting more money into Bitcoin. I've bought more Bitcoin over the years. Um so my account is much more bigger than that five dollars he had gave me but because of him he the one that initially started it that pushed me towards the bitcoin man and i appreciate that kid man he was flying to san francisco that day man but anyway um that's how i got my first piece of bitcoin that's how i got introduced not how i got introduced to bitcoin but i got introduced to investing in cryptocurrency because he gave me my first piece and the way he was just I, I was just thinking, like, after he got out the car, I'm like, yo, dude, if he believes in this so much like this, I have never seen somebody believe in something so much. And he's just like, no, bro, you don't understand. This is going to be huge. Banks are going to crash. The U.S. dollar is going to crash. And we're all around the world going to be living off cryptocurrency off of Bitcoin. This is going to be huge, bro. I'll even tip you on Bitcoin today, this amount, $5, because I know 10, 15 years from now, it's going to be worth 100000 I don't know how true that's going to be. But... It has grown way a lot since that little amount that he gave me. Um, plus what I added to it. But, you know. The reason I bring this up, the story about the Bitcoin and all that, is because today they were talking about the all-time high, 55000 And I just want to say, guys, it is never good 
to be buying cryptocurrency and Bitcoin. Whether it's Bitcoin, whether it's an asset like a stock, when there's a lot of good news around it and it's going through the roof. Because now you're basically robbing yourself of profit. You're buying it at all time high. You're buying it when the price is almost at the ceiling, right? The way these things go, especially with Bitcoin, for example, it's going to slide back down. It's going to slide back down and it's gonna hang around the 40,000 and it's gonna and it's gonna hang around like the 40,000 part, right? It's, it's at 55 right now, it's gonna slide back and it's gonna hang at 40 in the 40, 40 to 45. Then it's gonna shoot back up to like 70, 80. Then it's gonna slide back down and it's gonna hang around the 50 to 60. Then it's gonna shoot up to like 90 to 100 and then it's gonna slide back down and hang around 60 and 70. That's just how an investment goes. Like, you know what I mean? There's this times it goes up, time it goes down. You never wanna buy when it's all the way up. You wanna buy when it's all the way down. Like the last two, three days, people talking about Bitcoin, Bitcoin, and it's all the way at 55,000. That's when, in my opinion, you start saving your money. You're like, ah, right, boom. When this thing crash back down, that's when I'm gonna swoop in and buy a bunch of it. That's how you really do it, man. Like, don't be buying Bitcoin now because everybody talking about it or because everybody like, oh, uh, it's going through the roof. It's going through the roof. You robbing yourself when you buy it at the all-time high, man. Buy low and sell high. That's always the key of the game. Two days ago, when the stuff about Facebook came down, it was bad news, right? So it went all the way down. That's when you buy. You buy stuff on the way down so you could profit, maximize your profit on its way up. Like right now, everybody talking about Bitcoin. Don't buy Bitcoin right now. I'm not saying don't ever buy, but I'm saying don't buy Bitcoin right now. Like for the next week or so, just start preparing to buy Bitcoin. You start preparing, getting, you know, where you could go and pull money from, whether it's from other investments, or if you want to save some money, you put, you putting up a pile of cash together, right? And when it slide back down and it crash back down from 55 or whatever it's at right now, to like the 40th range where it slid all the way back down, that's when you come in and you buy. Don't buy on the way up and when it's at the all time high, buy low. You want to buy at the bottom and ride that wave up to the top, man. When it's all the way at the top, that's when you're either collecting profit or you're keeping the profit to keep it going. But don't buy when it's high. That's just, that's, you, you could buy, man, but I'm like, you, you robbing yourself off your profit. So it really don't make no sense. Don't buy stuff on the way up, man. Buy on the way down so you can maximize your profit on the way up. And you know what I mean? Do your thing, man. Anyway. Love y'all. Like, subscribe, comment down below on the channel. I appreciate everybody who's been showing love to the channel, man. I love y'all, man. Yo, hit that like button. You feel me? Start hitting them like buttons on my videos, man. I appreciate y'all for real. I love y'all. Catch me on the next one. I'm out.